This is a lesson about Django shortcuts, which you can find in Django shortcuts and import from there. And I already had this example saved from the previous lesson where we uh, rendered some request, uh, rendered some template along with the form. And this render function is also the part of Django shortcuts. So uh, here you pass request here, you can pass a template, you optionally can pass a form here if uh, your template uses form. Pretty basic operation for Django. Uh, but there are of course other shortcuts in Django. For example, we already discussed HTTP response redirect here uh, from Django HTTP, but Django shortcuts also have redirect. And for example, I have here my uh, dummy page. And for example, if I specify just the name of this path, dummy, this dummy function for this path and now when we go to list it's redirecting us to dummy and if we write something else like like that uh, we will actually get an error saying that the reverse for this name was not found but if you don't want to use the name you can use the URL like this with slash. And in this case, you will be redirected not to the name, but to actual path that you will specify. Uh, you can, of course, specify the full path. Like that. And you will be, for example, redirected to Google. And we have other shortcut functions. So let me just change that to successful, for example. And we have a function name get object or 404. And here basically we can, for example, so we have here uh, the student models. And we can, for example, try to uh, get some particular student here. Get object or 404 student with, for example, primary key one. And now if we go to this URL, we can see that no student matches the given query. So let's, for example, create the student. Its ID is 12. So let's specify ID 12. And now we can see that we actually got this object and then return the HTTP response successful. There is other uh, similar method, which is get list or 404. And here, for example, uh, we can specify that we want to uh, get, sorry, uh, we can specify that we want to get the list of student objects. We can also specify here the filtering. But we will not do it for now. We will just try to get the list of all the students. And for now we have a student there, so it will be successful. So let's try to delete all the students. We deleted all the students and now we will get the error that no student matches the given query. So no students were found and that's why we got 404.